If you're familiar with creating graphs and charts in previous versions of Microsoft Excel, then you might be both pleased and also disappointed that the whole method of creating bars uh, and charts in Microsoft Excel 2007 has changed quite a bit. To start with, the wizard, which was almost always the way in which graphs were created before, has gone. And the whole thing has been automated much, much more to a single click. I'm going to show you an example of how this works. But not only an example of how this works, but also ways in which you can adjust the graph in the same sort of ways that you used to be able to during the wizard stages of earlier copies of Excel. What I have set up here is a very, very simple uh, table. Uh, we've taken the idea here that uh, students have looked through um, the traffic going past at a particular junction and made a note of the colour of each of the vehicles going by. So we had 48 red vehicles, 12 blue, 8 green and so forth. And a formula at the bottom that gives us the total of all the vehicles that have been seen. So what we're going to do then is create a graph from uh, these numbers and uh, this data here. The simplest way of doing that is just to highlight the table, remembering not to include titles or totals, but just to include the labels and the values for those labels. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just looking at a single straightforward column of data. I'm not looking at multiple columns, but perhaps we'll look at that in one of the later tutorials. In order to create a graph, we need to go up to the ribbon at the top and to the Insert tab, which brings up the Insert section of the ribbon. And you can see the chart section right in the middle there, very, very obvious. And straight away, we've got a choice of types of chart that we can use. I'm going to go with a column graph, which is the, uh, the one most commonly used. So I'm going to click on column, and that gives me a choice of styles. These look very similar to the kind of styles that you saw in previous versions of Excel. I'm going to go with an ordinary 2D flat graph here. I'm not going to go for 3D, but uh, obviously you can choose any style at this point. And you do have the option at the bottom for other chart types as well. But I'm going to go for the 2D column, click once on that, and that's it. Straight away, I have a graph. Simple as that. So no running through a wizard, no choosing various options. Straight away, we have a graph. Now, the good thing there is the graph has been extremely quickly produced. So if you're wanting a graph to literally just compare data very quickly, then it is now no more than a single mouse click away. The downside, of course, is um, that as far as the graph is concerned, you haven't had much input as far as choices are concerned, uh, layout, style, what's included, what isn't. And also, the, the most significant problem is the graph has been included as an object within this sheet. And again, in previous versions of Excel, the final stage of the wizard, the fourth stage of the wizard, asked you whether you wanted to include the graph as an object in the sheet, or whether instead you wanted to create the chart as a sheet itself. And that was certainly something that most people tended to opt for. So I'm going to show you how to adjust this graph and also how to transfer it to become a sheet in its own right. Well, first of all, uh, the style. You can see at the top that because I've got the graph selected, we have the styles menu here. Uh, if I click off that chart and back onto my data, that's disappeared. All I need to do is to click on the chart somewhere. And at the top, you'll notice this little highlighted option just above the main list of tabs, which says chart tools. You need to click on that, and that brings up the options. So I'll show you that again. Let's click off that. We click once on the chart and then the chart tools option at the top there. Uh, now we can choose all the different styles, the colors and so forth. If we do the little drop down option, we can choose other styles. There's all sorts of different uh, designs in there and you can of course uh, customize each one of those yourself. 
A few things that we need to change with this graph. Uh, we've only got one series of numbers here, so we don't need the legend. So we can click on that and delete it, which immediately produces a greater space, greater area for our graph. Now, what you'll also notice is that this graph does not have any um, labels or titles. The x-axis, whilst it's got the individual data labels, it doesn't have any explanation of what these represent, uh, nor um, the y-axis. And there's no title either. All of those options used to be within the wizard uh, menu, but we haven't been asked any of that information. So how do we do that? Well, immediately to the left of these chart styles, we have a quick layout option. If I click that, it is incredibly small. Um, and the first time you look at this, you'll probably think, you know, what the heck is going on here? Which of those do I choose? By trial and error, you can start to realize what each of these uh, actually represents. Um, they are pitifully small, but uh, for this first one, for example, you can just about see, depending on the quality of the screen you're looking at, you can just about see what looks like a shopping list there, and that's a legend. Similarly, at the top here on this second one, we have a number of bullet points, and then again on this third one, those bullet points seem to be at the bottom. That's the legend. So if you want a legend, then you can choose any one of these options that clearly have those bullet points there. Uh, this one in the middle here has a data table underneath it don't want that. Um, the one just at the top here, that's got a title at the top and it's got some um, of the legend at the bottom. I don't want that one. But if you do choose something like that, you can of course simply click on an individual part that you don't want and remove it. So it's not too much of an issue. There's our title. We can simply delete that and type in what we want. And you can do the same thing for your y-axis and your x-axis. So simply click on your chart, chart tools, quick layout, uh, and then find one that has an x and y axis. So that one, for example, has a table at the bottom, has a y-axis, and so on. Now, as well as changing things like your titles and your labels and your style, one of the other things that you might well want to do is to change this chart so it's no longer an option within this, an object rather, within this sheet, but it is a sheet of its own accord. To do that, we need to right click on this uh, chart and go down to Move Chart, which is a new option that wasn't in previous versions, of course. If we click on Move Chart, that brings up this very familiar screen, this very familiar option, which used to be the fourth and final section of the chart wizard. And this is where we are given the choice of whether this is an object within this sheet or whether it's a sheet of its own. Now I'll click that top option there, click OK, and now you'll see at the bottom here I have my sheet 1, where the table is, and chart 1, which is a full screen copy of my chart. I can still adjust all the layouts. I can still um, click on that option there, for example, which gives me title, y-axis, x-axis, labels, uh, and again, I can still change the style of this uh, chart. And of course, it's still linked to the data. So if any of this data was to be changed, the chart would update to show the up-to-date information. So although there are some significant differences from previous versions of Excel and the way the chart tool worked, to get a chart is much quicker, much easier. A single mouse click is all it takes now. But there are still the options for customization. Just remember to click on your chart, look for the chart tools menu at the very top of the screen. It's very easily missed. So look out for that once you've selected your chart. And then you have your chart styles, your quick layout. And of course, if you right click, you've got the option to either move the chart, or if you right click on particular sections of the chart, such as the title, you can edit the text, change the font, and so forth. So chart, charts within uh, Microsoft Excel 2007, quite a bit different, but I think overall quite a bit better than previous versions.